This video is to help violin and viola players who are working on the French folk song Harmony. So if you have your music out and you're comparing the rhythms of the melody and the harmony, you'll notice that they are exactly the same. So I'm going to do a little warm-up to prepare us for our dotted half notes, our three beat notes. So what I'm going to do on an open D, notice I don't have any fingers down, is to go D, 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 dotted half. And I'm going to do that a few times and just join me when you got it. Ready? And go. Notice that all of my dotted half notes fall on an up bow, so make sure that you're doing that long up bow. If you're finding that you run out of bow, running out of space in your bow like this, uh oh, right? Make sure that you use enough bow so that you get toward the tip and then you have all of this bow left for your long dotted half note. Watch. Another thing, if you're looking at your music for the harmony, you'll see that there's a new note and it is labeled low A. That low A is a first finger on your G string. For violin, it looks like this, G is your lowest string. For violas, um, your G is your second to lowest string. So you're gonna put your first finger down on your second to lowest string. All right, get your instruments up, please. Set that first finger down on your G string and echo that after me. So a couple things you'll notice, that my elbow has to come around a little bit to reach that. So if my fingers are normally chilling out on my D string like this, I have to swing my elbow around. So that might be something you'll need to do. Also, my bow arm goes up quite a bit, right? You can see that it goes up to reach my G string and then it goes down again to do the D. So let's practice that string crossing. I'm taking my first finger out of the equation now I'm just going to do three D's and then three G's. All right, and do that a few more times. Join me. first finger, so I'm going between a D and a low A. My first finger on my G string. Alright, and if you're looking at your music, um, on the second line of your harmony, you'll notice that you have to do exactly what we just practiced. So here's the second line of the harmony. You can listen or play along. Okay. And notice I saved enough bow for that three beat dotted half note at the end. to the fourth line of the harmony, so the second to last line, and it has a little bit of a tricky finger pattern. If you look at the measures, if you compare measures one, two, and three, you'll see that they are the same. So they go E, D, E, and then E, D, E, but that pattern is a little tricky having the two E's in a row. That's not something we're used to. So I'm going to play that line for you. This is line four of the harmony. You can listen this time.
hand, if you're doing a playthrough, keep that F sharp down. Because if you scan to the last line, your first note of the last line of the harmony is an F sharp. So if you keep that down, then you're ready to go. Okay, now we're going up to the first line. In the first line, you have an F sharp, and then a measure of A's, and then a measure of G's. Now, when you're going over from the F sharp to the A, you can keep that F sharp down like a tunnel, and then just put your G down after it. So here's the first line, and my F sharp is going to stay down. You'll see that it's not going to move when I cross over to my A. Ready? And go. Alright, I'm going to give you a kind of a close-up finger view. For my viola playing friends, everything's just going to look a string over for you. But the tunnel, keeping your second finger down in the F sharp, remains the same. Now we're going to skip all the way down to the last line and look at the first three notes of the last line. They're the exact same notes we were just working on F sharp, A, and G. So you can still do that tunnel, it just happens a little faster because you, the notes don't repeat. Okay, let's try that a few times. And one more. Ready? And go. And then if you're looking at the rest of the line, it just walks down the scale, pops down to that low A for a measure, and then ends on a nice D dotted half. So here's the last line. hints when you're practicing aside from everything I've just mentioned. Transitioning from line to line is always something that's tricky, so practice transitioning lines, particularly lines four and five. All right, I'll do that one once for you. Ready? This is line four and then line five. Ready? And go. <laughs> tricks and can play it fluently, you can play along with the playthrough video that is in the Beginning Orchestra Packet playthrough, playthroughs um, list. Alright, thank you so much. Bye-bye!